have a new smartphone in to unbox with you guys today and it's one that folds. Any guesses? I am talking about the brand new Huawei Mate XS. Welcome to the channel guys and girls you're watching me M Kwan here on M Kwan Reviews. This is the channel where I discuss my passions including technology and lifestyle and if you're new around here I'd love for you to join me so be sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Now, around a year ago, I was fortunate enough to be invited by Huawei down in Dubai to go and handle their first folding smartphone. This is the Huawei Mate X. Now, that's in fact my most viewed video and one of the most viewed videos when it comes to Huawei Mate X on YouTube. But this in the box is the successor to that, the Mate XS. And this is very similar in some ways, but there are some differences. So what we're gonna do is show you more about the device and give you a closer look. So this is the uh, type of retail box that you're gonna get with the final retail version. It's gonna be a box very similar to this, and you're going to get inside different compartments that will house different content. The paperwork, you'll get a SIM ejector tool, a USB-C, charging cable with the fast charger, super charge, uh, 50 watt charger that will come with the Mate XS and also some headphones as well that will be included. Obviously the main showstopper in the box will be the device itself, the Mate XS. Now before I open it out and show you what it looks like in the unfolded version, let me just show you around the device very quickly. So to begin with on the right hand side you have the volume rocker and that's just above the power on off button which incorporates also as a fingerprint scanner for security that you can set up. Then down at the bottom, you'll find the speaker grill, you'll find microphones and the USB-C charging port. Then you'll notice on the side over here, this is all display. And then at the back, you're going to have almost like a fin kind of effect on the uh, far left. And that has the Huawei logo. It has a button here, which if you press, that's how the screen will open out. And notice on this device, the screen opens outwards as opposed to being folded inwards. But just above that, you're going to find the Leica logo branding with the quad camera setup and the LED flash as well. On the sides, uh, you'll notice these caps that are available there. Those are there to reinforce the hinge system, but also there to help prevent um, dust and sort of small particles getting inside that hinge system. Two things I wanna mention really quickly about the design. Number one, on the display, Yes, you'll notice a type of creasing on the display. It's not as visible or as prominent as I noticed with the original Huawei Mate X, but it is certainly there and it runs along the display where the hinge is, so the area that's used to open and close the folding display. Another thing to mention on the hinge is that it's much more a solid feeling and it's almost like you need to use two hands to open the display out or close it. So the big thing or the big deal with this device is that display. It's an OLED display and essentially when you have it unfolded you have an 8 inch display and then when you have it folded in you have essentially two parts of that display. The main screen which is 6.6 .6 inches and then the secondary screen which is slightly smaller than that 6.38 inches. Now, once it's opened up in that full 8 inch uh, size, the resolution is a total of 2480 by 2200. As far as what powers the Mate XS, internally it has a Kirin 990 5G uh, chipset, which is essentially an octa core processor. Now, what is interesting is that unlike other manufacturers that have two different chipsets, the 995G incorporates both of them into one. So while we say that this is better not only for battery life, but it's also better for all round performance. As well as that, you're gonna get eight gigabytes of RAM with 512 gigabytes of storage incorporated. So on the Mate XS, the battery capacity is a total of 4,500 milliamp hours. You've essentially got two batteries on either side on the back over here. Each one of those is made up of a 2,250 milliamp hour battery. Uh, so that should give you enough juice throughout the day. Plus with that uh, supercharge Huawei uh, charger that comes included, you will be able to keep topped up during the day. But I'll come back to you with how I get on with the battery life. Just taking a quick moment to talk about software. So this runs EMUI 10 
on top of Android version 10. Uh, some people have mentioned that this comes without Google mobile services, and that is correct, that's true, but there are really easy solutions around that. I've covered this on uh, two different videos on my YouTube channel, so I'll post a link on the side or one down in the description. But in summary, you have the Huawei App Gallery, which has a ton of different apps that you can download directly onto your Mate XS. Plus, if you really need Google mobile services, those can be downloaded. So do go and check out that video later on. So let's talk about cameras. If you're looking or hunting for a front-facing camera on the Mate XS, you're not gonna find it. What Huawei have done is uh, essentially grouped all the cameras on the rear within the fin. And it's interesting because that means that you're getting really high quality camera specs that are being able to be used for your main shooter as well as for selfies. And it's made up of a Leica quad camera that's made up of a 40 megapixel f1.8 aperture combined with a 16 megapixel ultra wide f2.2 aperture, an 8 megapixel telephoto at f2.4 aperture, and finally a Huawei time of flight camera. Now they all work together and they do a really, really good job. One of the things I have to point out is just how useful it is to have a larger viewfinder when you have it opened out. It's something that's really difficult to demonstrate on camera, but once you've used it, it's such a cool feature. Now, as far as shots are concerned, they produce a really good quality shot when it comes to both photography and video. Uh, I think Huawei have been really excelling and really refining the software when it comes to camera. You'll notice that the images do look very, very good, close to natural when it comes to vibrancy, colors, contrast, all of it. I think Huawei have improved and are continuing to improve to get you the most accurate shot when it comes to images and videos. One of the things to note, however, is that in ultra wide, uh, particularly in low light, you are gonna get quite a lot of noise. These are some examples, and you can see that in normal lighting, uh, the Huawei Mate XS does an incredible good job when it comes to both photo and video, but in low lighting, it does struggle a little. There's a bit of noise, some distortion, but overall, I mean, considering that this, some of these shots were taken in pitch black with just the surrounding lights and from a distance, it's done a very, very good job overall. So this is a test on video with the Huawei Mate XS. Currently it's incredibly windy here in Abu Dhabi. Uh, we still have a lot of wind and clouds coming through. But this is what the video quality looks like as I move around and also pan around. Now this is in wide angle, but if I was to start zooming in, this is at 1x and then we can take it all the way maximum at 10x. I think it does a good job from this type of distance. There is some noise and distortion uh, as you can see in the video but it does a good job nonetheless. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the video. It's interesting for me Handling the Mate XS is very, very similar to the experiences that I had with the original Mate X. There are some differences, uh, particularly when it comes to performance and the upgrade to internals. But visually, on the outside at least, there aren't very many differences. I think Huawei have refined uh, some of the elements to make it a better experience on the Mate XS. One of the things that keeps coming back to me is the Mate XS is very similar to the Mate X in terms of how Huawei have conceptualized their folding smartphone concept. And this is very, very different to what other manufacturers are currently doing with folding smartphones. Let me talk to you about that in detail because this is the Mate XS in the closed format. It pretty much resembles a fully fledged smartphone. If I was to go out and give this to somebody in the road, they would just assume it's another new Huawei smartphone. But the difference is that you can use this in a standard uh, smartphone format and when you want to enhance that media or content experience, you can fold it out to get that tablet style experience. That is very different to what is being offered currently by other smartphone manufacturers. This is another folding smartphone. You might have seen this, the Samsung Galaxy Fold. And this is a perfect demonstration because once it's closed up, you still have a display on the front that you can kind of use, but to be totally honest, it's incredibly cumbersome to use this as a default smartphone. So you end up just 
opening it out and using it like this. And for me, in my experience handling a range of different smartphones, this is what really sets a Mate XS out from the other folding smartphones. Because in most cases, most smartphones that are folding currently on the market are really just smaller screens that open out to slightly larger smartphones, whereas the Mate XS is a fully fledged smartphone that opens out to a tablet-like experience. So there it is, the Huawei Mate XS. My first impressions are, I'm impressed. I think Huawei have to be commended for giving us a different vision or idea of what a folding smartphone is. I still have concerns about the display being on the outside and how well that's gonna cope with you know, normal use and prolonged use. So uh, do uh, stay tuned to my channel to see how I progress with that. Let me know also in the comment section down below what you think of the Huawei Mate XS. Are any of you tempted to pick this up? Talking of picking it up, these are gonna be available for pre-order on the 15th of March. The pricing, I'm still not 100% sure about, so as soon as I get any updates, I will post it in the description bar of this video, so do check back for that. Plus, if you're new around here, smash that like button, hit subscribe to see more video content like this as it goes live. And that's it from me for now. With the Huawei Mate XS, I'll see you in the next video. Peace and blessings.